I am George Grell. I work here at the Global Systems Division. We're looking at a, I believe that is a 10-day run from FIMCAM, which is a global modeling system integrated, so that integrates chemistry and meteorology in the same model framework, in the same time step. So it's a 10-day run, and we're looking at hourly output, and what's displayed is only the sum of black carbon, the sum of organic carbon, and dust. Uh, red would be black carbon, uh, blue would be organic carbon, and dust would be green. If there's a lot of black carbon and organic carbon, and maybe even dust, and the colors add up to white, so it just means there's a lot of it. Well, the reason we just chose to represent these because, for one, they show us really nicely where the big wildfires are happening or the big biomass burning events and also uh, the dust areas. Those are usually very important also for weather prediction. We are here very interested into impact of aerosols on weather prediction. You know, for one, you can really see the dust coming out of the Saharan region and then just below that in, uh, in South Central Africa, uh, a big area of biomass burning. If you compare that to, for example, what's going on in the US, at this time there was actually pretty strong, intense wildfires in Canada as well as in, uh, in the northern, northwestern part of the US. And then the other interesting thing that you can see here is the strong air pollution right there, uh, anthropogenic emissions mixed with some fires probably too in Southeast Asia, which is one of the main, main sources of anthropogenic emissions. Yeah, the FIM is a meteorological model, uh, a global model that is on a soccer grid, we call it a soccer grid or icosahedral. Uh, it's called soccer grid because it looks like a soccer ball. I think for us really, the largest interest here is in possible weather impact. If you see some of these areas, the, you know, the aerosol optical properties are so thick, there's, there's so little, I mean, there's such a big in, in impact on the radiation that um, there should be a fairly good size impact on the weather forecasts. And it kind of teaches or you know people can learn on, on where some of the stuff's coming from sometimes you can see the dust coming all the way over from the Sahara to the US to Florida and the same from the other direction you can get anthropogenic emissions from Southeast Asia coming all the way over to the US and you know again also for air quality Sometimes that, especially in the future, uh, this might be a very interesting question. Where does the carbon come from? Who creates the most? Uh, there's already talks about uh, taxation on countries that produce a lot of carbon.